to my latest vlog. It's uh, now it's the mega session down on bed and all quarry, a five nights, so a nice long session. Starting off in peg four, Keith's in peg five next door. I'm just gone with uh, at the moment, just one one on a solid bag, with a little wafter in it, and one with a high vis single. Uh, just basically going to leave it like that for a few hours. Just just while I scan the water and that, I'm not going to commit to a spot just yet. But we have got five days, so I've just put them out at a comfortable range. So it's on a little bit of uh, silt weed, like, but they, they, they'll be fine there. Just see how that goes for a few hours while I watch the water and uh, sort everything out. And knock a knock a mix up. I'll run through rigs as we go on through the five days. It's a long time. I, I'm not I'm not going to be uh, making this vlog into a mega two three hour long vlog, which is a bit boring. Um, I'll keep I'll keep it. I'll do bits each day, night updates, any captures morning updates etc any 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 changes i make any moves i'm making um, at the moment i do know that everywhere everywhere's full except for in the bay and two swims are coming free in the morning but we have had that one little sighting in between me and Keith, not too far from where I've put the PVA bag, so there's there's fish in the area. No one come out yesterday. Just a little bit further down from me. A 37 pounder. Which is on for another night, so well done to the captor. Wouldn't mind that in my net at this time of moment. So I'm going to leave it there for now, while I, I, I sort my home out, you know, see how things go. If it moves on the cards, I'll be making the move. If not, I'll, I'll work with what I've got. But five days, it's a long time on the bank. Just got a lot of things to do, I'll get everything sorted out, get a little bit of shut eye, and see where we go from there. So thanks all for tuning in again, and fingers crossed, you just never know. Also, there's two two other guys, friends friends of mine and Keith's, with, and his brother, they've come down. They're in um, pegs 9 and 10, which is right on the end of the wind, at the bottom of the lake there. So if anything, anything happens for any of them two, I'll be... Uh, Zooming off down there and uh, getting a bit of footage of the captures, etc. Same if Keith gets out. But up until then, you've got to put up with me rabbiting on. Five days, it's a long time. Conditions are more favourable now than they have ever been. Why I've been on here, why I've been doing the vlogs on this lake. Uh, I'm not. I'm not fishing in a heat wave. It's around nineteen degrees at the moment, with a southwesterly wind. Not a strong one, but uh, it's better than baking up flat calm. What we've had in, in the past. Uh, let's see how it goes. Hopefully, as of uh, once I've uh, sorted all my kits out, it's not why I'm knocking my mix up. And then a few hours, they might start giving themselves away where they are going to be, and then I can make my mind up. Have a feet, have a have a quick quick fire, a quick lead over to where they're at. Have a little feel about, decide what rigs I'm going to go to. Put a, put a spot, put put a bit of air to over there. And that'll be my spot. Start getting that established. Let's see how things go. So that'll be all for now.
and want to uh, have a nibble to eat, make a, make a mix up, let that soak in a bit of liquids and oils and uh, try and grab an hour. So thanks all for tuning in again and let's all keep our fingers crossed. It's coming up for the third week of September now, near enough. Prime time. Favourite time of year is now September, October, November. Love it. Let's see if we can uh, capitalise on the time of the year, the conditions, and being more or less in the middle of the lake. Result. So, I'll see you all soon. Catch you all later. Three hours into the session now on day one. I've only got the one rod out still, still watching this water. Seen, seen a few shores now, but they're directly in front of Keith in the next swim. I'm just keeping an eye out in front of me now for this second rod. So where uh, if, if I start seeing him showing in a, in one area a couple of times, and that's where I'm gonna. Um, deploy some bait throughout this session uh, I'm going to have a look at some some new up baits, they're not, they're not relatively new the shop bought um, I'm going to give these a good go now through the through the autumn and winter see how they go and I'm going to have a look at these tidy booms spin it with it on for the spinner rigs from uh, Jim and I tackle gonna give them a, a little go see how things pan out fish have showed just online with that van just before the central area and um, this rod I've got out here now is just on a, a little wafter full of blood worm pellets in the PVA bag plenty of oil and plenty, plenty of blood worm liquid in the bag I'm just casting it around it's all it's all silt weed so I know it's presenting well due to the uh, PVA bag but um, that's all I've got for now Starting started to rain as well Uh, I'm enjoying being on here now in these conditions instead of uh, the boiling hot weather I've had when I've been on here. Let's hope something can happen for either one of us, not just myself, for Keith. I'm not Keith's had to alter this late now and on his past trips, which one being a 34, one being a 20 plus. And got Clee and his brother down as well in uh, pegs 9 and 10. Let's see what can happen. Uh, if anything does happen, I'll get back on. Or if not, I'm just trying to keep these as short as possible. But th throughout throughout this, this session, five days, five nights. We'll have a look at some things that I'm doing, i.e. we'll have a look at these up baits, we'll have a look at these booms from Gemini Tackle, and so on. So thanks all for watching, and I will check back in later. Oh, look at this cheeky fella. Um, I don't think so. This is my hut. £35, you want to spend the night in here? Come on, cough up, £35. Oh, he's bringing all his mates now. Go on, off with you. Been evicted now. Go on. Away with you. No, you're not coming in. Excuse me, £35, please. £35 a night, this. 
It's not free for worths and strafes. Off you go. Very quiet night. No, no showing as far as I could see. I heard one or two around the three o'clock mark this morning. Um, I woke up and the coops just sat right over my basic spot. They're not diving though. They're just groups up there, you know, I've had no bleeps, no nothing. So, you know, you never know, it could be a sign, it could be a bit of natural food there. And that um, low lying siltweed, it's around six foot deep there as well. They have been diving on, on them spots, the further to the left. Uh, nothing's happened. Uh, I've heard nothing from Keith. I've heard nothing from any others. Um, I've been up and down all night. And there's been no lights on down the banks. On the far bank, everyone's door still shut. Back by one person. So it's looking. It's been a very quiet night for everyone. Would have been nice to hear if one or two fish had been out. It, it would be mint. Or uh, that's fishing, I suppose. <clears throat> Scanning this water now to see if there's any shores in any of the other swims. We've got a couple of hours. Like half six, so I've, I've got two and a half hours to decide before nine o'clock. But if I don't see anything in these next few hours, I would have expected a lot of shows to be happening now. But there's nothing, there's nothing to go on. I'm not moving out of here to another swim where there's, as far as you can see, there's nothing. And then I get in the other swim, look back to this swim, and then there'll be like dolphins showing over the bait is spot. That, that's what could happen. But um, it's easy enough to move cars right behind you, you just collapse everything, throw it all in. And zoom round, and you're done. Um, but if there's nothing go on, there's nothing go on. As we keep plugging away, it's a five day session. This, so something's got to move over here in that time. <coughs> well, so. This is officially day two. It's breakfast time. Got a coffee on and a, and a pot of porridge. And the little things from Morrison's, 50p a go. To do me. Put me on for a few hours in the morning. And get some proper grub down there. And so I'm going to leave it for down for there. Keep the eyes peeled. I'll be back on a bit later, if anything changes, so I'll look at something. So, cheer you off and out, and I'll catch you all soon. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Oh well. Even these buggers don't look amused. Do these alarms not work or something, mate? Right? I've not heard nothing of them. <laughs> 
slight change in the conditions now. The wind switched round. It was blowing right down this way. Since from since yesterday, since we got here, it's now changed and it's blowing straight into my face now. It's only a slight ripple, well, just a little change. It's now five to eleven. I'm gonna give it another hour and a half with the with the rigs where they are, and they're gonna be brought in. Put a bit more fresh bait out. I'm gonna to stick to them areas. There's been no shows. Only. About an hour ago, there was one down to Keys left, quite close in. So I'm going to bait an area close in for tonight. And I'm going to stick a, a rig just on that. And just keep one out in the open water over bait. Unless they keep, can, if they start showing over me, I'm not getting pickups on the deck, I will uh, revert to zigs. So, that's all I can give you for now. So, so I'd rather be having these conditions than the conditions of first and other sessions. You know what I mean? It's not convenient with the rain for when you when you're casting and baiting, etc. When you want to do stuff outside of the shed, and um, but. I mean, they, they do look a lot more favourable. Good time of year. Right, I'll shoot off for there. And a little bit later, we'll have a look at these hook baits, what I've picked up. They have been in the market for a while now. Um, just looking for some hook baits. Uh, I'm murder. I'm always, I'm always swapping and changing between hook baits and that. Uh, I do like the DNA pop ups. But we can't help ourselves, those carp anglers. We see some of the ones that we buy you. So the way it goes. Right, I'll shoot off for now and I'll be back on a bit later. Cheerio. Oh, little shout out. Gezzy's calf. Not bad at all. Oh, that's fanging now. Four quid for a meal. Can't grumble at that. And it's just you turn left, come out of Baden, and just follow the road down. And it's the first under industrial estate on the right, after the prison. Can't, can't be bad. Banging. Do great. Full, full breakfasts as well for a fiver. Just can't manage to eat it all. Really good food. Worth a lot when you're down Baden next. Well, it's coming up for half past four on day two. The rain stops. Keith's had a bit of success. Well, you've got to see the funny side of it. He's had two screaming takes, both tufties. Well, I've had to go around and do the honours and unhook it and put it back safely. He's not an happy chap. So it's all looking a lot calmer now. So it is looking good. Nothing's giving itself away. The chap up in peg 18 in the bear. Another 25 pounder just after lunchtime. As far as I know, that's all I'm aware of. That's been a while I've been here. Every swim's full. On a Tuesday, just shows the pressure on these places. But if you want that far to, this is the place to be. Just got to keep persevering with it. Five day session. Hopefully, get that one chance. Keep plugging away. Relax. What it's about of being out, having a little mooch 
once the rain stops with the polarised on. It's not as clear as it usually is. Being a bit of an algae bloom. Maybe that might have knocked them on the head a bit. You don't know. Like I said, the day before I got here from the bottom end, a £37 common came out. And that £25 of today has come out, so... They're still... They're still coming out. Obviously not prolific. Never is up here. But just open, open. That's going to be my turn. Would be nice. Just keep plodding on, ringing the changes. And something will happen with a bit of luck. You never know. Nice. I'm going to sign off now. I'll get back on with any updates or me just rabbiting on as usual. So, that's that. Just turning five in the morning. I'm just lay here, just trying to see if I can see anything moving. I, I, I'm gonna be phoning them, phoning the office at uh, seven o'clock, half seven. See if anyone's due off today. The lake is absolutely full. The only fish has been out has been out in that bay up there. Um, they've, he's been on. They've been on two days now. I had one on last one. I'm not saying everything's up there. Clee's saying he's seeing fish down at the bottom end there, but he's he's not getting no pickups neither. So I'll do a phone and see if anyone's moving off, and then watch that earlier for an hour, and then pack up and and move if I can. But if no one's due off, or if I don't fancy where they're moving from, because directly in front of me, I'm not seeing nothing. So there's no point in moving onto the opposite opposite bank where I'm not seeing nothing there, not catching nothing either. So maybe if not, I'll find new spots a little bit further out, a little bit closer in, etc. Different approach, maybe get on the zigs. Like I say, nothing's, nothing's happened. The only action that's happened is Keith had, had two tough these, but that's about it. Right, I'll jump off now and uh, keep watching this water from my bed. Cheers. Well, it's now five to eight on the morning of day three. Bit of a nightmare throughout the night and early on last night. Didn't do much vlogging yesterday due to the fact it was just heavy rain all day long. I went down the town for some uh, essentials, food, etc. And uh, the town was flooded. It was hard, hard work to get in there now. Had the swans pulling the rods off the rests, the geese all over it, no matter what. They had to wipe me out again, early hours this morning, around half past three. It's been a bit of a nightmare, but just gotta keep plugging away. Every swim's full. As far as I know, it's only the 25 pounder that's come out since I've been here. And the 37 the day before, the guy is still in that same swim. 
for uh, a lot of luck. I don't think anyone's due to go off this morning. I'm going to phone him after I've done this just to clarify if um, anyone's moving off. Just got to keep plugging away. I've not seen a single show this morning anywhere up here or anywhere down there. Keith said he's been seeing nothing. The action key said obviously is with the Tufties. What I'll do, we'll have a little look at these pop ups that I've bought. All paid for with me old money. I just, uh, which they are the hit and run pop ups from Dynamite Bates. And they, these are designed by Rob, U, by Rob Hughes. Um, it's, it's sticking with the theme of what colours for what situation. Um, I've bought three, three sets. I'm currently fishing this one, which is the yellow one. And as you can see, when you get them, you get a little booster with them. It smells quite banana -y, this one. This is the one I'm, I'm, I've got out on a, on a, on a chod. Just, just over, over just fishing it on top of that weed through the day now. See if anything comes in on it. There's lots of lots of bugs in that weed. I'm just thinking something presents it just on top of it. Slowly sinking on a naked chod. Maybe. Maybe that could do it. I have got some I have put some mares out there. Not lords. Just to add that colour fleck to some boiler with a bit of a bit of barley crumb on it and, and some uh, bloodworm liquid. Not too much. Getting the odd little slip patch in the area I'm fishing, so it could be small stuff mopping up the uh, the bits of crumb. Or on the other hand, it could be something else. You never know. But uh, best thing, just keep plugging now. Not not get disheartened. Still a long way for go. Maybe give it till around lunchtime. If I can't make this move, it's not looking that way. I'm more or less central on the lake as well. So I've got a lot of water. What? Today I think I'll uh, have a lead around in a different area. Find where that silt weed is very low or maybe not at all. Nice clear patch. But they, these, these carp in here do love these naturals. Obviously they do come out over bait. When I've been on before, Keith had them over bait. He's had, he's, had, he's had them on zigs. It's just the way it is. Big fish water. That's supposed to be easy. So about these pop ups, this colour they have uh, a colour wheel on. What what they it? This just says what situation they work best in. Like for these washed out pinky peachy colour ones these do smell lovely these are basically for clear water and weed and uh, the yellows for clear water and gravel no I've gone against the grain there and put it over the top of weed white deep water and silt and I've also got these red ones for cloudy water and clay, which these are the wafters, the little dumbbell wafters. Uh, quite neat, neatly rolled. These smell very, very alanacida. I've got these in the, I've been fishing these in the PVA bags. I've not got one in the PVA bag at the minute. I've uh, reverted back to my little wafters. 
what I what I what I usually use in my PVA bags. Um, there's not much I can really go off at the moment. Just watching watching what everyone else is doing, everyone else is seeing just the same boat as us. Static, waiting, hoping, praying, watching. That's all we can do. We'll just not get this out now. And uh, just keep going. Been in worse situations than this before. But at least now, when you see it, you, you see with, with, with me uh, video in it and that, you can see how hard it is for just the everyday angler. You can't just film when things are going good, when, thing, when, when, when you're catching. It's, it's not like that in real life. You know, you do get the people that do turn up and do just just cast out and catch. I'm just not that looker. <laughs> So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will keep keep on going. I'm not going to give up on this place. Some real real gems in here to be had. And one day, if not in this session, in the future, I'll keep on going. I'm enjoying my time up here on here. I've also got I've got all the sessions penned in. The missus is going to treat me and Keith to a two day session down on here. It's either going to be on here or on Glovers. Which we, we enjoyed that water on there. It's a nice looking little water. And I like the idea of no one being directly facing you. Uh, on a one here, it's 200 and odd yards to the, to the guy facing me. So we're not going to be fishing nowhere near each other. Like I'm only at 14 wraps at the moment. But I'm going to explore a bit further than that and a bit closer than that. And all keys, keys on about 19 wraps, 20 wraps in his swim and he's found a nice clear area where it's not produced, it's not produced anything so it's just the way it is we've not been going crazy with the uh, with the bait like when we got here the area I'm fishing at the, at the moment with the chod I, pour, I, I just I put out five five over that and about two or three in the general area where I'm putting the uh, PVA bags. That was at the start and then same again around six, seven o'clock at night. And then the next day, the same again, another five. And, and that was around four o'clock. So it's only had 15 spawns in and we've had the coots all over us as well. So a lot of that will be gone. Obviously the small, the small, the small fish in here are probably feeding on the uh, the crumb, so it's not a lot to go at. You know, I, I know I've, I've seen it. Some guy who was spamming last time I was on in peg peg fourteen, and he was continuously spotting. And on his second day, he had a result. It's one of them. It keeps you thinking. Do do you go for a real big, big heavy yet of it? I'm in the past on, on on waters, even on hard hard waters. Not not a very high stock, but obviously the angling pressure on them waters that I was fishing at the time was not like this. In on the, on my midweek sessions and where I've turned up for. 24 hours and I've gone with 5 kilo of bait and, and I've had him I've had, the, I've had one or two fish out but uh, I'll just keep going keep watching and see if uh, if 
anything changes. Or if not, it's fishing in it. Right, I'm gonna jump off now. And I'll be back on a bit later. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Right, it's afternoon. Sun's come out and that so I basically have switched switch switch sit zigs. Well on one rod, which is just boom straight out. But this bit of uh, algae bloom it's really it's coloured the water up a lot for on here. I'm stood on the top of the hill behind the shed and I can't see anything. It's just not very visual any at the moment. But uh, I've stuck with them spots now for two nights. It's not produced everything, nothing's showing over it. The only thing that's visiting it is the, the bird life. Or um, I've had a good lead around for the past hour and I found a lovely spot, ten and a half wraps out directly to the left of me and the, every time I bring the lead in when it's clipped up to it it's just covered in blood worm so I'm not I'm not going to put loads of bait on that area I'm just going to put one PVA bag straight on it with uh, some blood worm liquid and blood worm pellets with a little barrel little barrel wafter on that and then just leave that and let's just see what happens um, if nothing happens on the zig I'm going to have a good lead about out there, see if we can find anything. But if not, maybe I'll put, stick with a zig all night. Because, as I said, nothing's been produced all over the baited area. But maybe seeing that much bait, maybe they're, they're, they're not taking fresh bait, maybe it's a few days process, you never know. But, uh, well, that's me thinking anyway, you never know. Keeks had another tufter off his clear earlier, fishing towards the centre cent of the lake, or uh, he's a bit frustrated though, constantly being picked up by him. But uh, like I say, I'm gonna give this solid bag over that bloodworm bed. I go, I could go now. Could be, could be just the one, might not be. Only time will tell, won't it? Just gotta keep trying different things. Obviously, I've been fishing the solid bag up. I was over there, that, that direction, uh, 16, 14 wraps, sorry. I was over there. And um, that's over some light, well, silt, silt weed. Same with the chod rig. But I've actually put bait, bait or a lot of bait, good, not a lot of bait, a few bombs, roughly around between four and six o'clock at night. So I've been putting bait, the bait out, then just leaving it until at least dinner time the next day, unless obviously the uh, bird life wiped me out. Um, I'll just get rid of that sick. Basically, just a little rig for some of the fingers to get ash for shoulder rigs. It's basically it's just a supple, supple braided rig, little wafter onto a drop off lead and a bit of tungsten tubing all, 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 all crammed inside and a, a nice medium sized solid bag, plenty of liquids in there. So hopefully it could be the one, maybe not, you never know. I uh, thought I'd just jump on for uh, this little update, it's not really an update, it's just a change of spot. All the swims are still fun, apart, apart from seven, no sorry, peg eight, but well, the guy in peg seven is casting right across here, he's going, he's going into clear, clear swim basically, like bloody fishing. Gets on your nerves on these day tickets, but that that corner, them corner swims down there, they are, yeah, could pretty end in between six and eight. It's you've not got much room, 
I tend to stay away from them unless I walk past one day and there's fish in the margin and I'll, and I'll fish it. But for now, I'm going to have to stick it out on this swim and see, see what happens. Hopefully the birds stay away. Would be nice. Just keep plugging away. That's, that's the eggs out there, sitting nice, sitting nice all out there. Roughly a four and a half foot zig. I've done a black and yellow, just added, a, added yellow to the uh, line liner, just with the water being so coloured. And it's in around six foot of water. So hopefully, something might pop over that. But I'll, I'll give it a good shot. That's all I can do. So cheers for tuning in, watching me rabbiting on, blanking me butt off while everyone is about, about, about the lad in the bay with the £25 yesterday. Seems like a lot of people are just spodding, 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 spodding. You never know. They could just well get on that in a, in a few days or what. Just see how it goes. Right, I'll catch you all soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Some little changes. Just gotta keep trying new things. Cheers, all. Quite a bit of build up of algae here. Could be having an effect on the fishing. You never know. Well, just getting all settled for the night. Found another spot. 16 wrapped out. Lovely and clean. So that's the two rods sorted now for the night. Both on new spots. Looking uh, quite pleasing on the eye now. Hopefully it, uh, it can go. I've got, I've got that second rod out on the shad rig. On a on a food bait pop up this time, not on the eyes, with um, a scattering of uh, a seven around it, chopped and hull. Not too much. Hopefully, just enough to get a bit of interest. Still, nothing else has been out. But uh, that's how we go. Just been and picked my chippy up from um, from the gates. Should have really brought a bivvy. Uh, just found out that Glovers that was on last time. They'd done a 41 common on Sunday. And the lake is empty. This is rammed. That's empty. The problem on that it doesn't have sheds. Got to use a bivvy. And we didn't bring all bivvies. I would have been phoning them. And uh, asking if we could do the last two nights on there. Would have been nice but persist now carry on well we've got two now keep going keep going hopefully something happens all right i'm gonna jump off now i'm gonna settle down and watch this water now we've seen we've, we've had two shows over keith's rods now in the last hour where we've sat eating all the chippy stuff so maybe you just never know. Let's hope that these swans don't start fighting again and run to my rods when it goes dark and wiping me out again. Because the spots I've found, there's only about four foot between them and then the weed starts again. It's lovely and smooth, on, especially on the one with the bag. When you're bringing it in, you're really bringing, it, bringing the lead in after dragging it through the, through the shallow between the weed. It's got the blood worm on. So... In my theory, they've got to got to give that a visit with that natural food source for him. We all know can't love the bloodworm. So fingers crossed. See what the night brings. If not, I will catch up with you in the morning. Cheers, guys. Night night. See you tomorrow.
sleep last night sat here had a few little liners here and there watching watching the wind change change to a bit of a southerly blowing down there and around half one between half one and two o'clock sat here in shores which in the dark looked like it was on me with the odd liner here and there so the excitement took over there and stopped me from sleeping. Managed to drift off around half past three. Woke up at quarter to five. So it's a very tired will this morning. As far as I'm aware, there's been nothing else caught on the lake. Went and shot round and spoke to a, a chap where I felt as though I could get closer to fish. What had showed a bit a bit further down past Keith, but he's on till Saturday as well, so we're on lockdown. Just gotta put just gotta hope something comes across this water what's in front of us. Sun's out now, so gonna give it a couple more hours. It is actually bite time on here. You know, it's not unusual for bites to come past the 11 o'clock mark in the morning. You know, they usually say, like, uh, fish do come up, up to 11. 11 o'clock, there's been a few times we've been tearing up and people have been having quarters done at, at like, half past 10, 11 o'clock. So I was just one of them, just gonna sit up, sit up, sit on my hands. Um, I don't, I don't feel as though I'm doing anything wrong. It's just how it is. It's not only me. Like I say, since, sorry to keep repeating it, but since I've been on, there's been a twenty-five pounder caught up in the bay. Obviously, a thirty plus came out on Sunday, but we wasn't here Sunday. So from Monday, so to, on Tuesday, it's now Thursday, on Tuesday, the £25 came out up in the bay, which I think was a common, yeah it was a common. See what happens. See what happens. Right, so I'm gonna cut off now. The missus will be phoning me shortly after the school run. So I will get back on then. Maybe. Maybe not. You never know. I'm still plugging away. Not giving up. Maybe a little bit later. Obviously, I've got the food bait. Pop up the S7 over top of the S7 and a bit of the maze. I might revert back to another colour. Maybe back onto a yellow a little bit later. Knock the size down to a, to a 12 mil over that baited spot. But I just don't know. Maybe. Sun's out. You know, give these zigs a blast. Now I did say, oh, something just moving out there. Well, have you seen that on camera? It came, 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 came in from, well, I'm on the side, sorry. Came in from just behind this bank here and a shot straight out out there don't 
definitely a car up there. Like it's moving, or, or you know, maybe or a big pike chasing something. Well, my luck would be a big pike chasing something. I'm just going to keep my eyes open now. I've uh, put a put a bit of put a, put a bit put a bit of beds in just down this down here. So it's all here. A couple of foot out from the bank. If the bird, if, if them swans stay off it long enough, that's why this sun's out and it, and it sits in this bank. It sits in this bank first. I've always done well at this time of year when the sun's hitting this bank and you know because these temperatures are, are dropping a bit by bit they do, they do sometimes push into these margins you know but it is highly pressured and the only, the only place I've seen them in the margins really is up in peg one actually in front of the peg and when I've been on the other side behind the, or in the margin right on the willow, I've seen them there. Um, I've never seen anything really hugging the margins anywhere else apart from around uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten swims. I'm not saying that they don't get in these margins on these sides, but I've just not seen them with my own eyes. That's an old lad who had a forty. 43 pounder when we was going on to Glovers out of um, Peg 15 he said he was only fishing a few wraps out on the clear spot and he had two fish off of a 43 and a a 20 plus or something you know so they do come they do come close in just gotta be crafty aren't they? Just crafty little things or big things. Right, I'm gonna whiz off now. Rabbit it on long enough. Let's see if it can happen. Cheers. This sun out now and that conditions are looking good now. We've got we've actually got fish showing quite a, quite a lot now. They're a little out of my range. They're more in line with Keith in the next swim. I've reverted now both rods on zigs. One on the yellow one, one on a black one, one at four foot, one at five foot. It's roughly six seven foot of water out there. It's. Uh, worth a shot I'm gonna really get I'm gonna give these zigs a really good go I've done three days fishing on the bottom and flitting in between zigs and stuff only really having the zigs out for an hour or so did say I was gonna leave a zig out all night last night but you never know I've, I've baited a margin not too far out uh, I'm just gonna keep my eye on that keep my eye on that and uh, just keep flitting these zigs about if I see anything sure I'll put a zig as close to it as possible and work that way if we do get any any activity close in what looks like any disturbances or anything on the bottom i'll um i'll have my third rod set up on a pba bag i'll just skip in one of the zigs and i'll just flip the pba bag to it keep my eye on the baited spots though also obviously if, if, if anything's showing over them likewise again pba bag will be going straight on it It's got two days, two nights to go. Um, just got to keep going. I don't know, they do like a zig in here. They do come out to him. Last time I was on on Glovers, they was coming out to zigs. So, just keep keep it going. Let's see if, uh, if it can happen. If not, try and, try and all the best, as, as much as we can. Nowhere to move to. Let's just open it up for a, a little piece of foam. Would be nice. Need to break my duck on here. 
never caught anything out of here. The key gazzies had the two out of here. Never had anything off this complex. I've only fished glovers. Um, this one, the quarry and um, bridge. They're the only ones I've fished. These are specimen ones. Not been on the runs waters. But the way it's going, I think I might need to have a go. <laughs> no, I'm used to it. Got to be taking the missus on there at some point. She wants to do a night in a river. She keeps asking if it come on here on the shed and that. But really, well, I, want, I, want, I want a chance of a fish for her. So I think I'd get on one of the runs waters with her. No matter if it's £4, pound, £5. Pound. It's not about that. I, I won't be doing the fishing, I'll just be making the rigs for her. You know, I'll find some spots for a ladder, a cast to him, probably put her on solid bags and uh, away she goes. I'll just uh, go, th go through the motions with her. You know, and hopefully she's got a cooking head on as well, she can do some cooking for me while she's down. <laughs> right, I'm going to sign off now. Don't want to make this into a bloody six hour long thing with no fish to show. But it's real fishing, it's not made up, it's not made belief, it's actually how it is. You, you know, what I mean? you go on these blank runs on these kind of waters, speaking to a few people, one said it took him six sessions, one, one's on his 14th session now, uh, 14th weekend, still not had a fish, you know, that, that's how it is. But uh, I'm just going to keep going with it. I'm going to keep my eye open where, where these are showing. They're, they're out of my range there. But you know, they're, they're going to be up and downing. Got my vision of them moving up and down. And the end, they have little show here, there, and everywhere. You know, the only activity I've got over the bait is coots. So it's now, this is, yeah. Day four, two nights left to go, fourth night and fifth night, and then it's off home. Let's be going home, happy. I don't mind if, if it's Keith who has one. He's, re he's screaming out for me to, to bag one to get my first one out of here. You know, we, we, we can't have it all our own way. Clay or his brother down there, see if they can bag one. Wind's blowing into them now, they're, show they're, they're actually showing down that way as well so there is fish about right that's it for now obviously what I've done with the zigs oh. <clears throat> my big ass on camera there <laughs> who cares anyway right it's a, it's a, it's a cracking looking butt Right, so really, what I've done with the black one, I've given it a go in this uh, tuna. This is the Supreme. I've, I've, I've picked up this up from the shop. Um, if I go on the yellow one, it's a smoke. So maybe something different, you know. Keith swears by him, he's, he's used them for many years and he's had some good results while using them. You know, I've been fishing alongside him, certain was the same tactics. And same colour baits, like when we was down at Clearwater. You know what I mean? He he, he put his, we both put our rods out, um, both on the yellow pop up. But his his was good yellow pop ups, and uh, his bites came his bites came straight away. I had fish I had fish fish showed where I put him, put my rods in it. Show where he's put his, and his rod went off first. You know. It's each to their own, in it. I've always thought, is it a gimmick? Is it not? Only time will tell. Um, see what happens. Right, I'm gonna sign off now. It could be all for today. Maybe you'll get you your good night and your snoring later on. Um, but if anything changes, obviously I'll, I will be on. And uh, we'll go we'll come on. Go bleep there on that uh, zig rod. Just one bleep. So it's going through line there, mega tight line there.
Right, I'm gonna jump off now, just in case. You never know. Probably just someone swimming through the line. There's nothing there's no coops diving where the lines are going, so that's all good. Let's give it a go. Catch you all later. Look at that, from glorious sunshine, big winds and rain. Love it. They should spur them on now. Start seeing them heads popping up a bit more now. Just before I started filming, there was two shores not too far out. Just along the that range. It's, it's, it's in front of Keith, that. I've got my zigs blasted out to this big lump here. Uh, they have shored dirt as well through the day, so let's see. You know what I mean? It's a bit, it's a bit choppy with them zigs. They're really getting blown about like crazy though. No, we've got to, we've got to be in it to win it. Catch you all soon. It's coming to the end of day four now. Got them two out on the zigs now. Gonna be out all night. Got a solid bag ready here. Didn't see anything sure. I'll put that on it. It's looking good. I thought we had a chunk, but sitting that tonight would be nice. So, a good night from me. I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. quiet one nothing 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 on the zigs oh my I'm still persevering with them the sun's coming out again now I'm gonna keep giving it a go and I'm gonna have a little think of this last night what for it do Nothing to move on. The only one I can move on really is. I don't. I don't know. It's uh, the where they're showing that uh, it's bang bang in the middle, and I just can't reach that. I'm going as close as I can to it. You know, with, the, with these zigs and that, I know one came out early hours this morning to a chap, £29-pounder, that was single, boomed out in the middle and just left and it, it's finally gone off at 2 o'clock this morning or half one this morning, whatever time it was like, but well, well done to him. The fishing has been mega hard this week, so that's two two fish. In the five days that I've been here, I'm just thinking maybe have a have a day now just roaming these rods all around this swim. And see, see a bit out can happen. It's just uh, it's just the way it is, isn't it? You know. I could move, people are saying move, 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 but I just there's just nothing for me to move on to at the moment. I don't want to be tucked up in that in a little corner with the lines coming across me and that, etc. Being hemmed in. At least here in this room, I've got quite a bit of water in front of me for play with. You just never know, never know what could happen. I 
persevere with these zigs a little bit longer. So we stay on the zigs, do we go on to singles, do a do we do anything else? Just don't know. I'm gonna jump off for now. Got a call coming in from Keith, so let's see if he's had out or if it's uh, all it's up there. You never know. Well with it being the last day and all that. Thought I'd uh, rest the swim for a good while. Brought the rods in. About half past ten this morning. And then I found, well, I found, I found, I found a, some, some clear earlier at range there. So I'm going to put some singles out there. Just out of where. Maybe uh, stick a few bileys over it. See if that see if that works. Tried everything, PBA bags, chod rigs, different pop up presentations, wafter presentations, zigs. Done a lot with zigs to no avail. So I'm just gonna throw a few few singles there at range. A bit of bob opa, you never know, could pay off. Um, what what I'll do as well, I'll show you these uh, Gemini booms. What I'm going to use on these pop up rigs. See if it see if that how they produce how they uh, perform. Right, I'm going to have some dinner now, and I will chat back shortly. Cheers, all. Oh, just look at that. God, I'm resting this swim. I'm not gonna I won't be getting them rods out just yet. Fishing on the back of this wind now. Let's just hope it calms down a little bit. Right, let's have a look at these uh, Gemini Ronnie Rig booms. Gemini Tackle Tidy Booms they come in a sleeve like that with three on uh, <coughs> come in five, these are 5.5 5 inch uh, but if, if, if you like a big one you know you can always go, go for a 7 inch you know so let's just have a quick look at them basically these are for the Ronnie rig as you can see there let me just see if we can get that to focus on there probably won't there you go We've got a fused fused loop there on one end, going down to another fused loop. And then on this end, you've got your Ronnie Rig swivel. Yeah. You can see how neat them see how neat them booms are. Very nice. Very neat. Um, also, I've tested them with the puller tool before I've used them because usually I always tie all my own stuff, all my own booms. Keith picked these up for a try. Um, I'm impressed with them. They're ideal, especially for the range. But for when you're range fishing or, you know, everything just kicks, it'll just kick away on that boom. It's nice. So either, I'm, I'm going to give the Ronnie Rig a go. Keith swears by you. So basic, that's it, set up, bit of putter, another tidy booms, straight onto a leg clip, and a short piece of tungsten tubing, not going too long because it hinders your casting, it's, a, it's only a short rig but for, for booming that out it's going out a bolt, so it's about 70-80 yards. It's not mega distance, you know, but at least I know it's not going to be nine. It's not hopefully it's not going to be tangled. I will, I will add a little touch of form onto it before I bang it out. So yeah, Jim and I can't tackle Roddy rig tidy booms. Right, I'm going to get these two rods 
out there. This room's been rested now for a while. That big wind and rain has swept over. It's calmed down now for the last hour or so. So it's time to get these rods back out. Hopefully I rest in that earlier. That was, I've not really fished it, it's just the earlier I put the zigs. Well, when I, had, when I just boomed them out as far as I could yesterday, one of them, it just, oh, it was a lovely, it landed lovely. So I clipped it up before I brought the zig in. Uh, really didn't took the zig off and had a cast with a burr lead and it's lovely, lovely and clean. So I'm just going to get two, two rigs out there. But also what I did early hours of this morning, in I got I got some boilies out there, some of the S7 in the throwing stick. Not too many, 50, 50 maximum. Just spread them all out. So I'm not going to go with it, with any more baits. I'm just going to stick these singles out on, on this like peachy pinky coloured one and uh, a nice a nice bright little white one. Let's let's give that a try. Keith sticking by right, same. He's fishing one one on a single, one over his baited area. Um, I, I couldn't really tell you what Clay and his brother's doing down there, as really I've only seen them when it's been pick up pick, delip, picking up our food and stuff and go at shops. Um, I know they do the, the same the same as me. Me and Keith scratching our heads at the minute. So two fish. I've been off since we've come out since we've been here, which is pretty dismal for five days. You know, it would have been you could say two fish each. Everyone would be happy. I'd be happy with just my first fish, to be honest. It's I know it's in hard water. Some people may say, "Oh, I catch every time I go," but well, well done to you if you if you're one of them people that do. It's uh, the the numbers I talk to on here. They want even the lads that have caught quite a few fish on here. I'll tell you, they don't catch every time they come. They blank, they blank, they blank, they catch. Then they'll go on, they can go on and they blank and then they'll catch, you know. It's about, you've got to put the time in. You know, like Keith turned up. First session, first, first time he'd ever been on first night. Catches the big lin at £34. Then goes on a bit of a blank spell. Then has... A twenty pound common, and then a little bit of a blank spell. It, it's the way it goes, and uh, Keith is a very capable angler. You know, he's, he's been he's been doing he's been doing this stuff since he was a kid. So it's the way it goes. Nice. I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to get these rods back out and see 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 what happens. You know. If not, I'll have a little recap tonight. It's, it is my last night. Let's see if um, one, one out of the four can uh, pull something out. All's not lost. I've learned a lot while I've been down. I've enjoyed myself. You know, off work, obviously. I've missed the home life. You know, I love my family and all that. You know what I mean? But it's not something I do every week, five nights. It's once in a blue moon you know i've done the three nighters the two nighters but this is the longest session i've had this year only done this because due to the fact i'm working self-employed and i don't get paid for these these days off so i've lost a lot of money it cost me a lot of money to come and i've lost a lot of money due to not being in work but uh, that's life You know, it's all about catching that forty. First, first things first. Just want to get a fish out of here. It'd be nice to be a forty on your first fish. It would be lovely. But uh, we've just got to try, haven't we? Right. Um, later on, I'll probably be back on for a recap of the night. Let you know what sessions are are happening next. You know, we've got a few things. Got a few things planned in, and my missus is going to treat me and Keith to a, a couple of nights somewhere. I don't know, it could be on here. 
or maybe on Glovers or on the monuments. We'll have to have a look at work. It, on here we'd really want to be, be coming on like Sunday, Friday and a Saturday night, doing a Friday, Saturday. But we'd have to, obviously have to step work on the, on the Sunday. Uh, uh, sorry, on the Friday. But um, if we get the monument, we don't need to book any time off. We can do all five days work, turn up on the Saturday morning. But let's just see. To be honest, mate, for me, I'd much rather be down here. I do like the monument. It's nice and clean. It's lovely. Plenty of fish for go after. But there's just something about these commons in here. Every time I see them, I'm thinking I want it, I want it, I want it. Just keeps you going, keeps keeps it keeps it burning, doesn't it? Keeps your head up. Stop, don't get your head down and say, "Oh, I've been, I've blanked for five nights. I'm never going back." Nah, it's not happening. I'll be back. Ready or catch you all up soon. Well, another fish came out a couple of hours ago. Directly facing Keith. 29 pounder no sorry that was one o'clock this morning i don't know what work that was i know these guys these are these was this van what's back there was there before we got here so they've uh, managed to pull, pull one out of the bag since they've been on he spots keeps slicking up a lot that bait, he's put that bait on there two days ago. Might be taking a long while to get on the bait. Maybe the notion not really getting on the bait. I don't know, the chap over there, I've only seen him stick out. Not a lot of boilies. And he finally got the take around half past four this afternoon. And then last swimming it's as you was. Looking nice now. Same dot shores as well. Got everything I need to do has been done. All down 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 to them two little fellas out there. As soon as these seagulls bug off. I'm going to stick a, another 50 baits or so around the area where the two rods are out there. Keep my eye in where, where, it, where he had baited a few days ago. If anything does show or start getting flat spots, that'll do it the usual. Another bag and just bang it near. So he's open to. A successful last night or if not I'll be back so I will uh, give you a recap in the morning before I go so I'll just like this uh, thanks for watching I know this is a bit of a long one and up to now no fish but it's real it's not made up I don't just do them when we're catching you know what I mean it's just a my diary piece this for something for me to look back on to see where I went wrong where I went right pick tips up off myself for myself so to say right back on in the morning good night for now Uh, the last night, day five, over with. It's now seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I decided to have a lie in this morning. And I got up at six o'clock. It's now just turning seven. And I've worked hard all week. I've not stopped different tactics, searching different areas, watching, watching, more watching. And uh, all I can say is uh, all the effort 
have been rewarded. So I'm over the moon. Last night, just after nine o'clock, I get to I get to my tech, and uh, after uh, an FD battle, because I've gone past past the wee bit that I was fishing up against the the heavy silty stuff. So 20 yards spot obviously I mentioned on the singles. And uh, I've landed a, a real peach. A real peach of a common. So what I want to do, well, first of all, it fell to a single up bet. The pink is in rum, the new ones that I bought. Which is good. The what the, the 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 place has been fishing hard, and uh, that's that single up bait done the kit done done the trick for me. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave it there. Let you enjoy this footage. I celebrate with a proper bait well tart for my breakfast. So thanks all for watching. Enjoy this footage, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you in a sh in a, in a short, short while. You got me in it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look all right. Put the fish down a bit. Yeah, I can see your face now. Mint mate. Twenty nine, eight, yeah. Yeah. We're on eight first one from Baden. Last knockings, no, well, last night really. Four nights without anything. And uh, screams off. Where's fish put that? Single up weight, fixed at range, done the trick. Here's the other side. Not a fucking mark on it. Absolute peach. Cheers, Keith. Well, it's Go bear back. Nice to have met you in a short while. A lump in it. Yeah, lovely fish, mate. Belly on that. Look at that. Go down to my swim, let's capture you again. Yeah, well, we'll have to uh, redo that rod as well. Well, as you would have just seen there, that beautiful uh, 29 pound eight common caught on that single up bait. The uh, breakfast went down well. Not really a full breakfast, all right, but a giant bait well saved it. Bought that yesterday and I was just saving it, hoping that uh, I could pull something out of the bag on the last night which it has done so like I say if you, ne you never give up just keep going keep going until that last minute when you're on sessions especially on places like this it can happen at any time that's my motto anyway never give up uh, keeps been working hard tirelessly since we've got here Clay and his brother have, have been working hard giving it a good go um, obviously at the moment uh, nothing's fell to the rods but there's still time you know when you have to be off at 12 I don't know what time we're leaving because it has been a long session we've all got commitments at home what we need to get to but uh, like I've just said there so the journey still continues for that 40 on this session it was all about getting to know this water a bit more obviously people have said move 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 so it just shows I made the right decision sticking to my guns and working the swim trying different things it just shows you don't need to pile the bait in obviously I fish bait I fish over bait 
for four nights. Well, sorry, for three nights, because on my, on my fourth night, I, I did go out, go out with the zigs. And uh, basically, I found that area by just slinging a zig as far as I could on it, give a good, nice landing. So the next day, once the, when the zigs didn't work, I reeled it in, and it was uh, coming in at 18. 18 and three quarter wraps so I put I put I put a lead on there wrapped it up at that cast it out then a bit further then a bit further and then I found that spot and it was bang on 20 wraps so I, I, I put a I put two two singles out there from the hit and run range one on the pink and uh, one on the yellow <coughs> Excuse me, and it was the pink that went off just after nine o'clock last night, which I'm over the moon with. The photo shows what and the pictures what you've just seen shows uh, what a real nice example of of carp that swim round in here. There's plenty in here more bigger than that, you know, but. I, I, I'm I'm not I'm not one to complain. That was a a real beautiful fish. So it's like I say, when you're on these sessions, just keep plugging away, keep plugging away, and you're all with rewards. You can be rewarded, just like I have, which I'm I'm pleased with, very pleased with. I've enjoyed the session. You know, didn't get himself down thinking, no, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. When you've got a rod you've got a rod in the water, it can happen at any time. It's like I say, put the effort in on your sessions and it feels a lot better when you get a result. You know that it's you've not just come on come on to it five days, oh I'll just Fill it in with bait, put two rods there and leave it for five days. No, no. Just keep going, try new things, try different things. Go through all your colours, different rig presentations, different areas. Then you can be rewarded. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I think... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. If anything else does happen, I'll be back on. Got my fingers crossed now. For Keith, it's uh, when we've been coming on. It's been the usual bite time, but bites have been coming at strange times on here. Midday, one o'clock, half past one in the morning. Like for myself, the nine o'clock at night. And yesterday, about four o'clock, a fish came off on the opposite bank. So I'll leave it there for now. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry it's been such a long one. We got there in the end. A result. And I'll see you on the next session, which up to now, what we're, all we've got booked in is the end of October. is down on um, Monument 2. And then end of November, we're booked on Monument 2 again. Uh, I'm going to try and get a few more sessions, another session in here th during October. It's only going to be a one-nighter due to the facts of work. And that I don't want to be having more time off. We're, we're coming up to that time now where we're coming into Christmas period. So they're going to be 24-hour sessions. But I will, I will be, uh, be coming back. We'll be trying this throughout the winter as well, giving it a good go. And uh, also, we're booked up in we're booked in on May, in May over in France. So I've got a week in France, my first ever session over in France, which is going to be uh, a, a, going to be a good experience for me. It's gonna. It's a, a drive. We're doing a drive. It's a drive and a survive. Like you know, we've got um. 
obviously we've got cooking facilities there and shower facilities and that, and that but there's no, uh, there's no food packages or anything like that. But uh, fish over sixty pound. There's some cats as well in there. So we'll get rid of those. So enough about that. That's that's next year. That's something to look forward to. And uh, so thanks all for tuning in to this real long one. We have five nights. And that results come on the last night. Bitch, you can't ask for any more. So I'll leave it all there. Say goodbye. Goodbye now. Thanks to you all for watching. Uh, if anything else happens during this um, last few hours, I'll be back on. But if not, it's been a result. Obviously, not not what 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 people would expect. But you've got to be fishing this water to uh, understand. It, it, it isn't easy. I've been watching all the other anglers. Some anglers have been on five, six days, week sessions, and only just, only just had a fish. People that have fished it for a long time, are not, and they're not catching. It's it's not a place to turn up and get run after run after run. And like, like for me, it's uh, I've, I've done a few sessions now on here. It's, it's relatively, relatively new, I've not fished every swim, you know, I've just been going around different swims and stuff, you know. So, stuck by my guns, stayed in swim four, and had a result, which I'm over the moon with. So thanks all for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Cheers. Well, I said we'll be back on, if there's any more action. Ah, oh, there's Keith bending into one. Last two hours. I am going to get it out now. I'm going to cut off now and get this rod out. Well, oh well. I thought like a bit of fussage uh, keep bending into it. After I cut off, it, was, it started uh, really taking line. Re really giving a good account for itself. He said he's never felt a fish in England uh, pull like that. And then it's weeded him up. And the worst thing that can happen, especially especially at any time in a session, but also coming up for we'd already decided that we was going, we was packing up, we was going. It's come off. So proper gutted, gutted for Keith there. Would have been nice for us both end up on one. But these things happen, like I say, it's I'm adding everything. This is real fishing, this it's it's not made up. The highs, the laws, everything. So I'll leave it there for now, not go on too much about it. Uh, let Keith forget about it now and let's and move on to the next session. He'll have his revenge, I know he will. And also, and there again, that was on a single up bait as well, cashed out at range. Nothing over bait for four nights, goes out on his singles and he's had a pot, he's had a, he's had a, he's had a take. Madness, isn't it? Right, so thanks all for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And if you've got to this stage, thanks for putting up with my, my mush for over an hour. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and the session. It was an hard slog. I got there in the end. So until next time, see you all soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Till next time.